Greetings YouTube, this is Bilgediver at thriveforums.org. This is a video on unrooting and flashing the stock recovery so that I can update the official Toshiba update over the air. Alright, first things first, let me just show you the version of Android I am using. This is the Toshiba firmware version that ends 0 .0029. You have to make sure that this is it because this version only works with 0 .0029 and 0 .0032. Please visit the website for any issues. Okay. This is the post at Thrive Forms where you can get the root tool. Thrive Easy Flash tool for MS-DOS Windows. And remember, this is for the 029 and 032 only. At, as of this post, it was only working with Windows 7 or Windows Vista, but I have fixed it so it will work with Windows XP. Scroll down. This is where you download it right here. Once you download it, it's a zip file, and you extract it. This is what you'll get. You'll get the bat file, which is what, what you'll actually run. A readme, which I highly recommend any new user to read. This is the USB driver, so that you can connect your Thrived here computer by ADB. And these other folders contain the scripts and the boot images and the recovery images which, with which this will be flashing. So, everything is included in the zip. You shouldn't have any issues. If you have any issues installing the ADB drivers, please uh, don't hesitate to ask at thriveforms.org. So, let's continue. Run the Thrive Easy Root tool. Since it's a bat file, this is what you'll see, a command window. I am currently rooted with a clockwork mod recovery, so I will first flash the stock recovery. Is my Thrive already rooted? Yes. Okay. To flash the stock recovery, first thing I have to do is plug my Thrive into the USB port that's already done. It's already plugged into the external charger. Power down my device. Let me zoom to my Thrive to show you that. Power button. Would I like to shut down? Yes. Now this is how you get into Fastboot. Okay. To get into Fastboot, power button, volume up button, push the power and volume up button at the same time. And that's what you will see. You will see three icons. You'll see an Android icon, the recovery icon, and the USB icon. Use the arrow keys, the volume keys, to switch between different icons. And on USB mode, press the power button just to select it. And starting fastboot USB download protocol. Okay, so if you haven't already installed the Fastboot ADB drivers, at this point you will get the dialog to install the Fastboot ADB drivers. It'll be the exact same as your Windows ADB drivers. It'll be the exact same. Okay, now at this point your device will ready to begin the stock recovery flash process. Press OK. Damon 
and start it successfully. Your device will now re re reboot. As you can see, I'm still I'm still rooted, as you can tell by my custom boot animation, which is a live lock cat and live D message. Please remember, this method does require you to still be rooted to reflash the stock recovery. So please do that first before you unroot. Switch back over here. As you can see, congratulations, your Toshiba Thrive has now been restored with the stock Toshiba Thrive recovery image. Okay, you won't see anything new there. Let's go back here, press any key to continue. Now, at this point, I will want to unroot my device. Press 2. Is your Thrive already rooted? Yes. Now, to initiate the unroot process, you need to do the following. Show your device's USB port is set to debug mode. Let me show you where all that is. That is in Android settings, which is, I put a shortcut right there. In debug mode, you go to Settings, Applications, Development, and Debug is the very top one. Make sure that is checked. Make sure you're plugged into the external charger and that your mini USB cable is plugged in. Since I am booted up normally, there I am. At this point, your device is ready to begin the Unroot process. Which boot image will I flash? I will be flashing 0029 because that's the current version of my Thrive. Now it's running through the whole ADB script to root or unroot. Yes, I know there is a whole bunch of no such file or directories, which is good because I haven't I don't need to remove it then. Now I need to power down my device, then restart in recovery mode. Okay, so at this point I need to get back into fast boot, which from earlier, as we saw, shutting down. Okay, now rebooting into fast boot. Switching to fast boot. Press any key to, to continue. Flashing new boot image. Waiting for device to fully boot. because this is still in my system folder that is still there. But let me 
me show you real quick. If it takes a long time to boot, it's because I have a lot of apps. demonstrate the fact that I am not rooted. Terminal emulator. S U S U permission denied. I am unrooted. 